when do you start as part of this follow-up process? When does it start for you and uh, and what are some of the steps you take? Yep, so the follow-up starts, say the, the expos are on the Friday, Saturday, we will start that on Monday morning. Yep. So as soon as possible is the answer, is what you want to do. If you work on Sunday, do it on Sunday um, as soon as you possibly can follow up um, because the longer you wait, um, the the chances of you converting that um, participant just keeps dropping every day. It'll it'll keep dropping because they're forgetting about the you know who what they spoke to you about when it's fresh in their mind. That's when you want to you know call them. And so then yeah then we have that um, discussion on um, you know it's all it's all about them. It's all about the outcomes that we you know we're wanting to hopefully provide for them. Yeah, and so you've got those detailed notes effectively from what you've captured straight up. Um, yeah. How much more difficult is it when you don't have personalized notes like oh, that? Yeah, like, very difficult. It's yeah. it's hard to convert. You know, you're gonna you're just gonna say, "Hey, I'm a EP uh, or physio, book, calling you to book an appointment, make you the expo." The, yeah, it's it's very difficult. You can yeah. you can feel it even just talking now. You can feel the difference in that conversation yeah. from I, I want to book an appointment. So that's something for you. I'm booking an appointment for you. To hey, I'd like. I'd like to help you transfer better off the chair or, you know, yeah. I'd, I'd really like to help you, to transport you to your appointments um, more efficiently or, you know, I'd like to provide support. Someone that's a little bit, you know, you might be a support worker. I'd like to provide somebody that's um, that just gets you a little bit more that yeah. that you're able to relate to or, you're you know, whatever it is in your industry um, that, you know, that you uh, that would would provide a, a benefit to that person. That's what you're talking about. Excellent. What else are you doing in the follow-up process? You, is there any other steps you're taking? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So we've got, um, we do have their email addresses. So we're also sending them the emails um, and we'll tag them based on their condition. So on the, the back end, we'll, we'll, um, we'll put them into our CRM. Um, we'll tag them depending on sort of what condition they get and what, what they have, sorry. And then, um, then they'll just get some um, emails um, regularly to um, provide just to provide some uh, value to their lives on on their conditions how they could be managing it better you know we get we you know we get lots of not lots of downtime but most of our providers we will only get them um, seeing face to face about 80 percent of the time so they've got 20 percent of their week where they're like literally doing nothing and so some people go what? like you know businesses go how do you do that why and we we just think you know for, to to keep everyone happy and to you know keep people for long periods of time you you just really need to um you know we support our team as much as what we support our participants so um yeah. you know they've got 20 percent of the time they're creating content they're you know create we'll say hey can you um write something on down syndrome we you know there's some, some people out there that are struggling with this do you mind just writing a blog or something to uh to assist them and then we'll put that in an email we'll chop it up we'll maybe do a video on it um and so just content to, to help them